First time I ever stepped on a skateboard, my parents took me to one of their friends' houses and uh, I was bored out of my mind. And there was a skateboard there and I picked it up and skated for about an hour or so. It was pretty funny, I thought I picked it up pretty quick. I got sponsored, I started getting paid for skating as an amateur. And then I guess by the time I was 22 or 23, I sort of had the ball rolling enough to be doing it as my job. The act of riding a skateboard, for me it's amazing. It still feels exactly the same as what it did when I was a kid. It just takes any good thoughts in your body and it just puts it to the front of your head and any bad thoughts just go out the window. I can definitely feel some probably long-term effects of hitting my head a lot. It's probably not something I really want to admit to and probably not something I really want to add any more sort of damage to, but I've, I've hit my head quite a lot both with a helmet and without a helmet. You're a human being, you know, you are destructible, you're not indestructible. And I don't know, like, I'd, I don't like to think about the damage I've done to my head. <laughs> the ramp at Paran, we designed it, the locals designed it, so it was exactly what we wanted. So big and so fast and just so able to throw you into the air. And that's exactly what we like doing, we like doing big airs. Another great day at Paran. As always, it never fails to please me. I love it. I've seen the most amazing treatment by organisers in America and Brazil and Asia and Europe and just sort of looked at what was going on in Australia and I realised that the street skaters were skating so good and they were getting so far in the skate world. These guys really deserve that treatment that I'd gotten. The idea about having a street event was basically give a little bit back to skateboarding and skaters and just try and bring the whole level up. I walk into the event, there's a lot of anticipation. Just sort of seeing all the guys as they rocked up, they, a lot of them were stoked in the course. A couple of years ago, a lot of these guys just wouldn't even go in, near a competition in Australia. I feel like we've achieved something. We've made, for them, we've made comps appealing again. To me, watching a final is, it's amazing. When a final goes down, everyone that's made it there has, has made it there for a reason. Those guys were going off, they were feeding off each other, and just the general vibe of the finals was insane. I never have found the proper way to tell ya. Yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming. It means a lot for Australian skateboarding, and uh, without you guys, it wouldn't happen. So, first place, Dave Harris. You can see in someone's eye if they're having fun and they're, they're enjoying what they're doing and again it just stokes me out to be able to have created something that, that brings that sort of happiness to someone. I just want to get the best dudes in Australia in one place at one time just shredding. We've come so far and to think about the list of guys that we've had in our comp over the span of us having it, so successful that I'm, I'm really stoked and I'm so looking forward to doing it again in the future.